My name is Bianca, and I want to have bigger earlobes than anybody. The record holder has 105 millimeters. I'm at about 86, so I'm not too far away. Today, it's stretching day, and I'm going to stretch my ears up. This afternoon, my parents are gonna come by, and I'll get to show them my new ears, and hopefully my dad doesn't freak out. I, I don't know, how, how big can you go? You, you got, I don't know, Let's, I guess we're gonna find out. She has a hold that big in her chin? Yeah. You can see her teeth? Well, I haven't seen it. Oh. It's pretty oh, neat. Oh, I see. Something I haven't seen yet. I wanted to look like a video game character. I just really like the idea of looking unnatural. I want to be covered in tattoos. I want to have my earlobes as big as they can go. Right now I have my stretch labret. I have my ears, which currently these are three and a quarter inch. So that's about 64 millimeters. I have a bunch of facial piercings. I've actually taken out a lot. My septum is stretched. I started getting tattooed at 16. I wanna have bigger stretch ears than any girl and possibly anybody. The record holder has 105 millimeters. I'm at about 86. So I'm not too far away, and I could see myself getting there and possibly surpassing it in the next couple years. I can do a lot of tricks with my ears. I can stretch them and lick them. I can wrap my earlobe around my whole ear, which is what I do when I wash my face or do my makeup. You can take drinks through my ear. I can do a lot with my ears that a lot of people can't do. My ears are very healthy, and the healthier they are, the stretchier they are. So I've only had this pair in for maybe a week, week and a half, and I can't even work with them because if I bend my head forward too much for too long, they just pop right out. So they're definitely ready for the next size. At the rate they're going, I could see myself at around 100 millimeters in just a couple months. When I was younger and I started stretching my ears, a lot of people in the town that I lived in had never been exposed to something like that before. I was bullied really badly throughout my whole history of school. Here, I was probably like 15 or 16, no older than 16. And my ears started to get really on the bigger side, as you can see here, like for being in high school and being my age, nobody had seen plugs this big. So I got bullied and made fun of and people would assume that because I had stretched ears that I was doing other things, like assuming that I would be into like drugs or that I was a bad student, which none of these things were true. I was always a really good student and a really good kid. I wasn't able to go anywhere without people treating me like I was disgusting or like I didn't belong where I was going. But it's kind of a blessing in a way because I don't want to be around people that judge so negatively based on looks. So it kind of weeds out the judgmental types of people, which is what's so nice about working at a tattoo shop because it's the first time that I feel like I'm in an area where I'm allowed to be myself. Hey, look at my new plugs. Sick. Yeah. Today, I'm super excited because it's stretching day and I'm going to stretch my ears up to about 86 millimeters. I'm a little nervous because my parents are coming by later and I get to see my dad probably freak out about how big they're getting. I feel like at this size, it's not as noticeable though until like, I don't know. Um, unless you have like long periods in between, but yeah. my dad hasn't seen my ears in a long time. So Since I feel like last they're- Since last summer pretty much. Mm -hmm. So I feel like they're gonna look huge to him. Yeah. My dad has never liked my ears. He doesn't understand it. He doesn't like it. He does not think it's pretty. Um, and that's probably being generous. I didn't really understand them that, you know, once they're stretched like that, will they ever go back? I know there's surgery for it. My dad had no idea I was stretching my ears. If he knew, he would not have allowed it. I don't, I don't remember her hiding it. I don't remember her hiding, yeah? She would pull her, her hair over yeah, and make sure. Maybe. And if, See, she must have did a really good if job. If she tucked her hair, that's why I, I, would, I would, you know. That's why I think they went from here and one day they were there, <laughs> I, you know? She had everything. It was all a lot on her face. But then she has this, 
This big one here that I still struggle with. Yeah. She has a hole that big in her chin? Yeah. You can see her teeth? How you been <laughs> hiding that one? Well, I haven't seen it. Wow. It's pretty new. Oh, I see. Something I haven't seen yet. My dad has a lot of tattoos, but his rule was always stop below the neck, below the wrists, so that it can always be covered up. So I was always concerned that it would affect her future and, uh, and limit her ability to, to uh, you know, make her spot in the world. And I think doing something that was irreversible and so obvious at such a young age, that's where he draws the line. Today, Bianca had a stretching day, so she stretched her ears up uh, three millimeters, so they look really good. Oh, yeah. She stretched them with additional three millimeters? Yep. Wow. Yeah, getting big. I'm feeling really nervous. I'm about to go outside and show my family the new plugs that I have in my ears, and they're getting really big, and I'm not sure how they're going to feel about it. Thing. It's been a year, and uh, yeah, so I've gone up about a half inch in a year, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. Tony, what do you think about these plugs? How do you feel about them? If she likes them, I like them. Aww. Thanks. I've accepted it, and, uh, and I'm comfortable with the two, and, and it's actually gave her a different, grew into a different identity that that it's part of her persona, it's what she is. My body confidence when I was younger was terrible, which I think plays into why I love to be able to take control and modify it to fit my taste. I'm not using it to cover up the things I don't like, I'm using it to give myself new things to like about myself. I see it as an improvement because the confidence that I have now, as silly as it might sound to some people, a lot of it has to do with my earlobes. <laughs> It's a big part of my identity. 